Hey guys, what is going on? It is Carl here back with, as you can see, another tech travel bag guide video, episode number three. Time is flying. And as this video is going live, as you're watching it right now, I should be somewhere in Europe. So this is pre-recorded. That means the giveaway from episode two will be announced on social media, probably stay posted to me on Twitter. I will try to keep you guys updated as long as I have data. I'm sure they do. That doesn't change anything from today's episode. You can win one random item. All of that info is right underneath that like button in the first line of the description. But let's get to, I guess, our biggest thing, which is technically tech related. It's actually a smart piece of luggage. How cool is that? This is the Blue Smart Black Edition Travel Suitcase. What makes this a smart piece of luggage other than looking very slick? It's got a nice black finish with a nice canvas material up top, so it's nice and sturdy, very premium looking. It also has a location tracker. If you download a corresponding app onto your smartphone, you can actually track where this thing is at all times. In case you misplace it somewhere or someone actually steals this, you can control functionality on your app to technically lock this so no one can get into your good old tech suitcase. I guess unless they have a chainsaw or something. It's got a built-in battery charger right up there. So you can actually charge your device, whichever it may be, as long as it uses a USB port, up to six times on your trip. And you can actually charge the actual bag using a micro USB port, which is located right beside it. It has a built-in digital scale, so you can check on your app how much this thing actually weighs, so you never have to be worrying if you're carrying too much stuff. And of course, this is size certified, so it will fit in any overhead compartments. And you don't have to worry about checking this in as an extra piece of luggage. Next up, I've been super pumped to share this with you guys. This is the Razer Blade Stealth. And the main reason why I'm bringing this with me as my main editing device is how thin, how portable, and how powerful this device is. I think you get what you pay for, and I'm just loving how portable this thing is. And once again, portability is key while you're traveling. Speaking about portability, my camera of choice on my trip will be my RX100 Mark IV. You can fit this thing into your pocket. It stores into any backpack without any issues. And I absolutely love this little camera. I brought this with me on my last trip to Thailand, and it's now coming with me to Europe should hopefully get some very sweet shots all in a nice small form factor. To keep my RX100 free of scratches, that will be paired with my Low Pro case. It's simple, it works, a little zipper case, and will prevent any of my keys or coins from scratching the LCD screen. The devices which I'll be carrying around, the first being the ZTE Axon 7. I just did my full review of this beast. For 400 bucks, you're getting one of the best bang for buck smartphones on the market. It has hi-fi audio, which I will be using my entire time while on my trip. Don't have to sacrifice audio quality. I'll be live streaming with this thing and let you know my full thoughts and experience with this as I'm, of course, traveling. My backup phone, just in case, and to also FaceTime my parents while I'm there, will actually be, surprisingly, the iPhone SE. And I think this is perfect for a trip like this, especially when I'm at, say, a concert. I don't want to be worried about a big phone in my pocket keeping this thing nice, small, and compact. Once again, the entire theme of traveling is keeping things portable, and the SC should serve that purpose. It can record 4K video on the rear-facing camera. I'll probably have to get used to using a device so small again, but great things do come in small packages. And the next little device, and literally little device, is called the Chipolo, and this will be used to keep track of any of my gear. You can attach this to a set of keys. Once you download the corresponding app, you essentially can pair these via Bluetooth. You can stick these essentially anywhere. Click the little Find Me button, and it starts ringing. Switching on over to a bit budget, this is the Pacific Tech Tablet. 
and I was trying to really find a device where I could take with me. I'm actually going to Tomorrowland where I didn't have to worry about it at all. I could share this with whoever's in my tent around me and not be too worried of it getting damaged. Since this isn't too pricey, it's a budget tablet. Remember, all the links will be down below in the description. When I've been using it, I've been browsing the net, checking my emails, playing a couple games, and unless I have two different devices side by side, I can't really tell too much of the loading times. And I think this will be a valuable member to the travel squad. And once again, keeping things a bit more budget, my action cam, this is from iContext. This is actually a budget sort of GoPro. It's got a similar look and feel. Actually shoots in 4K and even 60 FPS at 1080p. And for the price, it's under 100 bucks. I think it's around 80. Compared that to the price of a GoPro, which might be around three to 400 bucks. This thing is super budget and performance is close. Maybe not at that level, but can mimic the likes of a GoPro. All this gear will wrap up episode number three of my tech travel bag guide. Let me know which your favorite piece of gear was down below in the comments. And remember, you can win a random item from today that is right underneath the like button, of course. Winner will be announced in episode number four, so make sure you sub to the channel. I'll be keeping you guys updated with all my stuff going on in Europe, and I'll actually try to record a couple of videos while I'm there. So I'll catch the rest of you in either one of my next episodes, vlogs in Europe. I'll catch you guys in my next episode. Peace. Thank you.